My film class recently completed our project on moving stills. It's the film equivalency of painting still life. Our task was to emulate the feeling of our college campus through videos of still scenes that we would take out our recorders and our cameras and go around campus, place them here and there, and ultimately try to capture something special, I guess. Anyways, the idea was that beauty can be found in the composition of a piece. Focusing on one small piece of life can create an immersive experience for the viewer as a whole. On the surface, it seems dumb, a waste of time, if you will, and an even bigger waste of the film medium in general. Because after all, why would you take a video of a scene when you could just take a picture? What's the point? So in lieu of that, today, we focus on a story. The story goes that, back a long time ago, there were two painters in ancient Greece. They were rivals each of them masters of the craft. One day, the first painter challenges the second to a contest. It's simple. Paint a picture, the best one you can, and then both of them would decide who ultimately is the better painter. So they each spend the next year, the entire year, painting their masterpiece, putting all of their soul and effort into it. Finally, the day of the competition comes, and the painters each bring their own paintings in front of a crowd of people who had come to watch the unveiling. The first painter whips the curtain off of his painting to reveal his masterpiece. Now, it doesn't look like much, right? It's just a couple of grapes. It's not even a lie, it's just a couple. But the kicker of it is that when some birds flew by overhead, they saw the painting, swooped down, and started pecking at the grapes. You see, the first painter's grapes were so realistic that, to the birds, they were real. The crowd erupted into cheer, and the first painter knew he had won. He then turned to the second painter, insisting that he whip off the curtain to reveal his painting. And the second painter turned to him and said, What curtain? So why do I focus on this? Why do I bring up this story and then relate it to moving stills? What does it have to do with film class and all that? Well, the term trompe is a French term that describes painting, or it can be any art form, but for this example we'll use painting. It means painting images in a very photorealistic style. They depict objects in such a way that they are meant to trick the viewers to believe that they are indeed reality. But still, like, why are we applying this to the idea of story? Why am I applying this to making a video about video, which is supposed to look like a picture where it's still, but it's still moving? The answer to that comes twofold. Story without style is functional, just functional. But style without story is just eye candy. It's nothing. So when we put the two of the, those rules together, using style to create our immersive story seems almost contradictory. But it actually, it actually plays into one of the greatest lessons I've ever learned about filmmaking. Every single great film, the greatest films of all time, all make the viewers forget that they are watching the movie. To them, there is no story, there is no style, there is just what is. And then when the lights turn back on, when the curtains draw, and the movie comes to a close, what is suddenly becomes what is not. Just like the birds and the grapes, just like the people in the curtains. Simply put, it's a magic trick. Signing off.